Hey guys, DIY Tennis Dad here today with a string comparison guide. We're going to be looking at different types of string and comparing them, you know, on the basis of cost and durability and feel and things like that so that you can kind of determine which string type may be best for you and what direction you want to go and then you can kind of experiment within that type. So let's get started. Okay guys, the first string I want to talk about is polyester or poly. And uh, poly is the most used string amongst higher level players just because of the spin and the power and the durability. Um, when you look at all that stuff, poly really can't be beat and it's also pretty cost effective. Um, the, the one thing about poly is, is it's pretty hard. It has an unforgiving kind of feel. And so sometimes, um, you know, beginners or people who have shorter swings or people who aren't quite hitting the sweet spot or even like smaller children sometimes probably aren't good candidates for using poly. Uh, but if you're, you know, old enough and big enough and you're taking nice long swings and hitting the sweet spot, then you got to at least give poly a look. Um, another thing is if you're trying to save some bucks, um, this roll here of turn a premium poly can be had for like around twenty dollars or twenty five, so you're looking at like a dollar fifty per racket. Whereas, like you know, the more expensive poly, like this here, this Luxalon Big Banger, this is what um, Federer and Djokovic use, and it's twenty bucks a package. So even the best poly is still pretty reasonably priced and something that's you know attainable for for almost any player. So. Um, definitely give poly a look. It's the most common string. It's what I use. Great power, great spin. Um, and really, even if you don't like that harder feel at first, you kind of get used to it. So definitely poly is, is number one on my list of strings to use. The next kind of string that we're going to talk about today is natural gut. And just like it sounds, this is um, a natural stomach of a cow. It's made from the intestines of a cow. Um, this is Babolat VS Touch, and it's kind of the creme de la creme of gut. They've been making it since 1875, and that's actually an old package. It looks a little bit different now, but um, the gut's the same. The, um, the best thing about gut is the way that it feels when you hit the ball. There's just nothing that feels like gut. It has this explosive, crisp, kind of soft feeling power to it. Um, it's a little bit hard to describe, um, but it feels awesome. It's definitely the best feeling string. It also holds its tension really well. As you keep playing it, it stays at the same tension that you strung it at the entire time. Um, so people love that. Um, the worst thing about gut is, is really the cost. It just costs a lot of money. You're not going to get quite the durability and spin as you do with poly. Um, and then another thing is that um, when you store gut, you would have to um, keep it in the freezer. You know, you can't just leave it in your bag forever. It eventually will deteriorate, but that takes quite a while. That's not really much of a factor. Um, and so just so you're aware of the cost, like this Babolat VS Touch here, which like I said, the package looks a little bit different now, but um, it's the same string. This would go for $53. I believe the Wilson gut is right around $41 or $42. So just to reiterate, if you, if you really love that feel and, and the money's no problem to you, you definitely want to try gut or at least half gut. Most people do kind of a hybrid like Federer and Djokovic and these guys. They'll put gut in the mains and then uh, poly in the crosses, which gives you that spin benefit. Plus, you mostly get the feel of the gut from being in the mains. Um, and that's about it for natural gut. Definitely, you guys give this a try at least once, you know, so you know what it feels like and uh, and you'll be blown away. You'll definitely want to play with it all the time. Okay, and next up we have Sin Gut or Synthetic Gut. And Sin Gut is kind of that string that's like the standard, like if you order a racket, um, it's probably going to come with Sin Gut. If you buy a racket at Walmart, it's definitely going to come with Sin Gut. So Syngut is not the greatest feeling string, um, but it's a little bit softer than poly, so it's kind of what I recommend. Like if you're uh, a beginner and you're kind of learning how to hit the sweet spot, Syngut is great for you. Um, younger kids, it's great for younger kids. I've seen good players play with Syngut, but just not very often. It just usually 
is kind of something that you graduate out of. Um, but it's real affordable. It's great for beginners. It's got a decent feel if you're just getting started. Um, but it's kind of not, doesn't feel as good as your typical multi-filament and definitely not as good as gut. And it's not going to give you the spin and the power that um, better players are looking for and that you would get out of poly or something like that. And that's about it for Syngut. It's just kind of your basic everyday string. Great for beginners. Great for kids. Now the last kind of string we're going to talk about today is multi-filament. And you can tell by the diagram on the screen, multi-filament just refers to the construction. It just means it has multiple strands within one piece of string, uh, like on the right, versus a monofilament, like on the left. A classic example of a multi-filament is Wilson NXT, shown here. This runs about $22 a package. Really nice, soft feel. That's like the classic example of a multi-filament there. Um, but recently, there's been some um, advances in multi-filament technology, and there's a lot of um, polyester multi-filaments, and so there's a lot of other options that sort of bridge the gap between that polyester hard feel and the soft feel of the multi-filament. And so if you get something like this Luxalon Element, it's going to feel quite a bit more stiff or a harder, less forgiving feel, uh, more like poly than the NXT. But if you compared this element to a traditional monofilament polyester, it's going to feel softer. So always, if you have the multifilament, it's going to feel softer than the monofilament of the equivalent construction or materials, I should say. So um, just keep that in mind. Multifilament generally is just something you want to blend with a polyester. Or if you like the real soft feel, you can do solid multifilament. And here's kind of what I recommend um, if you guys are just getting started figuring out what string you like, is try um, all polyester, and then try an all multi-filament, and then try a combination of both. And if you got the dough, try natural gut, and try a blend of natural gut and poly. That'll give you a really good idea of which one you like best. Um, most likely, though, you'll end up playing with at least half poly, and um, either the other half, natural gut or multi-filament. That's pretty much where everyone ends up. So I hope this helped you guys, and I'll catch you next week.